Why do you get lost in Facebook? And why this is actually good UX? UX professionals are usually in a less is more state of mind. Make it really clear, minimize call for action. We praise those Google search-like experiences. One text box, one button, simple stupid, don't make me think. However, some of the most successful platforms are just the opposite of that. Amazon, Facebook, Craigslist, all our packed pages, so many choices. You often hear designers sneer at these as bad design or complain about how frustrated they are trying to find their way. I was thinking the same. Why does Facebook have to make me feel like I'm lost in the mall? Why can't I find my own post history and easily edit my timeline? This brings me to the buffet. The buffet was invented in the 16th century. The idea was going around in Europe, in France, and in Scandinavia, and had many origin stories. However, the basic idea remains. A self-service meal where guests can choose from an assortment of dishes and basically eat all they can eat. Think about the user experience. On one hand, you're in line with many people, fighting for space and trying to get a piece. You pile up food and you need to carry the plate all over. This is definitely not a good setting for a romantic thing. In most cases, you eat more than you planned and your final combo is not so refined, to say the least. Selection were made mainly by the order in which the buffet was arranged and without any culinary thought. On the other hand, the portions are generous, you get to taste many different dishes, and if you have kids, they're usually happy from the action and the choices they make. You gotta hand it to the buffet, it's an interactive experience. It's also a social event. You get to see other people, you have some interactions, you may meet new people. This is why buffets are so common in hotels and social events. From the business aspects, buffets are very efficient in handling large crowds. In a good buffet, you will get the illusion that you made your own choices, that you find the dishes you love. In most cases, not everything you put on the plate is great, but at least some of it would be good enough to fill you with a content feeling. If the kids are happy too, you have survived your vacation breakfast without the embarrassment of making your children behave around the table. So by design, buffet is not gourmet. It serves a different purpose and a different business goal. It handles big crowds and leaves them with a sense of value that will hopefully make them come back. They will remember the fast choices and the interactivity that made the kid happy. And this is exactly like Facebook and most social media. A huge social buffet, not efficient by design, you are not supposed to find your posts. You are not supposed to reach a certain goal. You are supposed to eat as much as you can and stay enough time to be exposed to advertisements. Moreover, you would think that the algorithms will only bring me content that I'm interested in. Well, think again. By design, you're not supposed to get only things that you're interested in. Like in a buffet, the less interesting stuff gives the illusion of huge variety makes the good stuff taste better and makes you stuff the plate again. It's like a big casino with slot machines. You keep hearing the money falls around you. You win small sums and it keeps you betting in hope for a big win. I'm not saying this is a dark pattern or wrong. Buffet can be great and I love them for what they are, for the social interactions and the vast choices they offer. I'm just saying that sometimes by design, you want to create friction. You want to create inefficiencies if it serves your business case. User experience is not only about delighting the users and solving their problems. It's also about achieving business goals. I would love to hear what you think about buffets and gourmet meals and UX. Do you offer a lot of choices or all the way with less is more? We will be here next week with more UX, product, innovation, and design sprints updates. So please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Bye.